Let's watch. Let's watch the 1.1 trailer. Hello, Owl. In the last few days, our team has received some incredible intel from an anonymous source. What's a the mysterious anonymous source? Stellaron burst has occurred aboard the Cienjo La Fu. And we have. We're lucky to have with us in the <gasps> studio the La Fu Skyfaring Hellmaster, Madam Yukong. Oh my well, god, Yukong is so Ningguang. Ja, a traveling merchant currently staying on the ship. Let's just so colonizer Madam energy. Yukong, what's the latest on the La Fu situation? Well, for the most part, the Stellaron crisis has been brought under control. We've evacuated affected areas, and life has returned to normal in the safe zone. I think this is their version See, of Liu Ye, because it's very China-inspired. I hear you. So we're gonna get a lot of like Luof, Luofu. Like on the ground. Well, we get a lot of Liu Ye content. Cloudford Harbor at first. It was only thanks to the Cloud Knights and a fortuitous Hi, encounter Phoenix, with really? kindly strangers that I was able to escape unharmed. That's the Cienjo Alliance. I knew you guys had everything under control. <clears throat> I should mention that over the course of this crisis, so cute. we've witnessed a lot of suspicious activity. They're so we believe the cute. infamous Stellaron hunters are responsible. <gasps> Where's Miss Kafka? I like I like this custody. like morning Blade show format. Kafka. This is very cute. I like there's like still on the an MC. Oh, you're talking Snowy about the hacker girl, right? Silver Wolf. I like Silver Wolf. I, heard she this I think she's kind of a baddie. She's behind a calling card. Like this one. <gasps> exactly. She Just hacked like... us. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Wolf trailer? This place is different from the She's rest so of the cool. Station. We're on genius society turf. Wait, she's really cool. Also, her outfit right, is so let's get going. We have to good. <gasps> oh my god, I I kind of am obsessed with her. I love her like little 8-bit animations. I think her attack patterns are so pretty. You can challenge the space station. Ugh, Herta. Do we like Herta? Good luck. Herta's purple nail polish is pretty sick. Oh, I love Silver Wolf though. I think she's so C-U-N-T-Y. We're in a bit of a bind. Okay, Pella. Pella needs more time, like, on screen. Oh, it's Hook. It's, it's, it's Hong Kai Klee. That's fine. Luota? Let me take a look. Hmm, so these are the sus- Luota is, like, so fruity to me. He's so fruity. I'm like, King, are you on Grinder? He'd be popular. Um, okay, is he French? He's got like a little lance. Let your guard down in front of your enemy. <gasps> okay, that's, this music's really sick. This music's really, really good. And now, I don't man, like that in- Allow me to give you a- Whoa, who's this? Wait, 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 hold on. Who's that? Who's this hottie? Also, I need to like, uh, make sure this is better quality because we are no thanks. What is enhanced rate rate? All right. The suspects. Who is that? That's like a new person. Enough talk. Do you see this? It's like so not HD right now. Why is it like buffering so strangely? I think it's just too. I think the quality of Honkai Star Rail broke YouTube. Perfect. Like it's just too. The frame rate is too good that YouTube cannot handle it. But also. Who's that person? Oh, uh, like it's that old man. I really care Okay, so that's our girl. Yukong. Yang Cheng. Who is this? Who is this? Jing Yuan's master? She's so sexy. I, listen, here's the thing about. I don't know why. What is up with people when they have, when, when like fictional characters have. Blindfold? That's Yukong? No. When people have blindfolds, it's like the whole world stops and they get so like... Gojo Satoru, Kakashi, like any time... Dotori, anytime you have someone covering their face, there's like mystery. And her, I can get behind this. I'm like, what's behind the mask? More sexiness? Definitely is. 
galactic roaming. This is cool. This is cool. I really like Silverwolf. Covering face and light hair. So deadly. So deadly. Oh, I like that this is a motion graphic now instead of it just being a still photo like in Genshin. I also really like Silverwolf's outfit. Silverwolf looks like she would be, if she were in the real world, like a Twitch streamer. She would be such a good little Twitch streamer and I love it. Also her little like emote, like her little chibis are really just so adorable to me. Everyone get your codes. That's Yukong, that's Yukong? She's a canon gamer. Do you think she plays Genshin? Do you think she's a Genshin whale? I love that we have like gamer representation in this in this game. We deserve more gamer representation. I think Silver Wolf is so cute. She would mod games. She would just hack into the game and get. <gasps> There's my girl. Has a day night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. As always, it's your host and good buddy Albert. Albert! Welcome to the Honkai Star Rail Wait, version so 1.1 Galactic, Galactic Room. Special program. Hello, Hello. Good to be here. <laughs> Silver Wolf is name always on my we've phone. We've invited three special guests to be with us on the program. Introduce them. Hi guys, my name is Melissa Fun and I voice Silver Wolf. Melissa Fun, hey folks, Solo. my name's Craig Lee Thomas and I voice Law Cha. Hi everyone, I'm Don M. Bennett and I voice Yukong. Don M. Bennett sounds Pleasure familiar. Who else does with she and now, without further voice? Without ado, let's get straight into Honkai Star Rail version 1.1. 1. 1. <laughs> What's new, Craig? Well, judging from the trailer we just I saw, love it looks Albert. like all three areas got some updates. Heard a space station, Bellabog, and the Sienjo Lafu. I don't know if you noticed, but Silverwolf got the first bit of screen time. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Speaking of Silver Wolf, I, uh, I really like her. Stella Ron Hunter is planning another visit to Genius Society territory soon. Let's take a close look at this little troublemaker. Mm, yeah. <gasps> Trailer? Gameplay. Gameplay. Yeah, drop that Rubik's Cube on him. Oh, she's Quanta. L. L enemy. We've already seen this ult from now, from her gameplay. I'm not mistaken. The first time we saw this mysterious girl was back at the start oh, of the story. The music in this game That's is right. so good. It's hard to keep an air. And she's socially awkward, and she has friends who are literally a bots, and it's all canon. How do you know this? Timed it better. I want some. <laughs> I, you I want a Silverwolf backstory. So, I like really like her. What role does Silverwolf have within the Stellar? She carries. They would not do anything without Silverwolf. <laughs> she's a super hacker, essentially. Lots she's of technical know-how. I could cosplay her. Hat, she's because I could just dye my hair. It's kind of scary how good she is. Silver. Hacking well, because then I can do silver her wolf space station? and Bronya if easy. I just do gray hair. That's how she located the Stellaron. Let's not forget the Sien Joe. She hacked into the Law Fu systems so and guided the Astral Express crew onto the ship. <clears throat> you guys know that this is all. I love her. Legal. I love her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess what we're trying to say is so Wait, I like is capable of breaking through any I'm kind of into her. defense systems. I just that's why I she's love, useful to the hmm. Stellaron hunters. I love a gamer girl. I see. <laughs> Second question. What okay, I think I'm like really into the Stellaron Hunters. I think the Stellaron Hunters is my favorite faction here, in this game. Is there. It's a vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this probably won't come as a surprise to anyone, but she's a gamer. Gas. Fact, no way. She sees the universe as a game in <gasps> itself. And she's playing to win. Wait, she's just like she Honkai Kenma. She a lot of gamer slang in conversation. She's just Honkai Not Kenma. everyone picks up on it, though. What'd you say? <laughs> Got it. Oh, I'm so excited. It's fair to say she's a uh, kind of a nerd. Oh, okay, I love you her. Could say that. She's here. also not You're following great at love socializing. Really? Huh. She always struck me as pretty outgoing. But <gasps> I love her. Hmm. I guess she does have a lot of friends. <laughs> Hold up a second. She's an outgoing nerd with poor social skills and Wait, a lot of friends. I'm like obsessed <laughs> That's with quite her. The combo. Well, if you struggle to make friends, why not create your own? Oh, so Melissa, that's you're all talking the about little... imaginary <gasps> friends, right? I'm not sure. Is that her counts. little imaginary <laughs> friends? <laughs> oh, okay, let me explain. 
I'm talking about the AI modules in her weapons. Oh, See she loves AI. Character artwork? She loves ChatGPT. There's Devil. This one over here is white color. Oh, and this one's Servant. What? Oh, they're so cute. I love them. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty adorable. When Silverwolf talks about her team of professionals, she's talking about these guys. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, I love that. Since when did AI become so adorable? <laughs> She literally made really, some friends. It real easy for the machines to take over. <laughs> <laughs> it's thanks to Silver Wolf's hacking skills AI? that she's been able to forge such a fearsome reputation you mean these, at such right? a young age. <laughs> Let's take a look at his strengths. Well, she's all that went hugged, not type the song. Chat GPT and went off that Hoyle lap. She can apply different debuffs to enemies. I still to have nightmares about that superiority. day. In particular, her skill can inflict a weakness on enemies. Oh, I love The her. weakness she inflicts matches a random ally's attack type. Which is to say that even if nobody on her team has an attack type which matches <gasps> an enemy's weakness, Server Wolf can create a weakness. That's actually that really good. To an ally's existing strength. Wait. Exactly. That's actually addition, broken. Every one of Silver Wolf's attacks has a chance of inflicting the enemy with a random. Bug. I think that's kind of there broken because I just don't have the enemy's attack, some types of speed, respectively, mm. like characters. Yeah, because there's not enough out. Silver Wolf can use her technique to attack an enemy and enter battle. Regardless of enemy weakness, she deals damage to all enemies and reduces the Tough She's gonna be really good. If I think I'm gonna roll for her. Enemy's weakness with her technique, it triggers the quantum weakness break effect, right? Yes, that's right. What else was I gonna mention? Her ult, her ult. Oh, her ultimate. Silver Wolf's ultimate has a high chance of reducing the enemy's Do you think defense in like addition to dealing damage. I love that animation. It's, so cool. it's like something out of a rhythm game, right? <laughs> see, I'm starting to see what you mean by the I'm not free to play. I will be getting her. <laughs> it doesn't stop there. My low child funds are getting used for Silver Wolf, but I'm saving right now. Changes, a waiting system response, force quit program. Oh, you get the picture. Yeah. Oh, oh, is there one called a 10 set guarantee? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or how about single warp miracle? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, not. Her ultimate's called user banned, though. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, I know what that not her, means. Not her being Made a Discord mod. <laughs> Silver Wolf is a Discord mod. Ultimate. She's actually modding my server. Well, it's time to move on to the CN Joes. She sounds really good, visible. honestly. I feel like she's gonna be really the good. Traveling merchant. Hmm. Hey, King. Okay, so graceful. Coffin. This is cool. I want him though. Oh man, this is gonna be tough for my wallet. Straight off the bat, man knows how to dress. He doesn't know how to dress. Elegant look, gentlemanly demeanor, but they say he's hiding a secret. In his coffin. What do you think? Good There's guy. a whole okay. human in his coffin. Um, he seems very suspicious. What? You can just say fruity. Really? Say it. How so? Well, imagine some guy waltzes into your hometown dressed like an aristocrat from another planet. But he knows all the local customs. Um, how many seller do I have? Right? Hey, I think you're being a little Not hard a on the guy. Some tourists do their research. Uh -huh. his, well, he probably smells so bad because there's like a dead body in his corpse. They came in pretty handy during the Stellaron crisis. Yeah, I mean, if I'm a traveler merchant, I'm gonna want some first aid skills under my belt. Exactly. It's a dangerous career. I love Where Albert. Are you? are you sure that's how he makes a living? The description we is too real. I had some blonde intergalactic thing. merchant with a huge coffin. <laughs> well, I feel like this guy already <laughs> made his fortune. Maybe traveling merchant is just what <laughs> it's Signora <laughs> like to tell people. <laughs> Jeez, you guys are the answer for everything. It, imagine he opens his coffin and it's Kakalia. Kakalia never died. Is this the Lacha fan club or something? Ooh. Yes, let's start one. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about the coven he carries around? It's with just Kakolia. Can have the ordinary there, right? Nope. Yeah. It's Ronnie's dead mother. Yeah, you got me there. <laughs> She's like rotting. Mm -hmm. yeah, He's going to use her suspicious. bones for bone broth. Not so sure. Everyone needs a conversation starter, right? Especially traveling merchants. Think about it. If you walk past this guy, the coffin's gonna draw your attention, right? You'll probably ask him about it, and before you know it. He sold you a new set of shower curtain rings. <laughs> you know something? That's a dad joke. That kind of makes sense. Lorcha's voice actor is such a dad joke. 
And if you find people are in need of a few shower curtain rings, I happen upon the finest collection of authentic Sienjo bath. Please don't. Did he? Did they write this? No this is here. bad dialogue. Is Lancia a good guy or villain? Uh, I don't think we have enough information. <laughs> <sighs> all right then. Guess all you trailblazers have to make up your own mind. Why don't we take a look at his ability? Ooh, Albert's doing talking. a great job. <laughs> oh, there's a codes ex uh, following the command. Sorry, I'll, I'll change my. For a man um, with medical knowledge, it's not surprising that he's strong on protection. He can true, offer though. healing too and dispel debuffs from his allies. For example, Lawcha's skill can restore an ally's HP. Hmm. When the HP of any ally falls below a certain percentage, Lacha uses his skill I love that. on them That's without so consuming good. No any skill points. Dying with him this around. effect can be triggered again after a set number of turns. Emergency healing, huh? Important for team survival. Sure He's is. not. No one is dying After here. unlocking a special trace, using Lacha's skill also dispels a debuff from an ally. Ooh. Uh, using Lacha's ultimate. Death wish dispels one He's buff kind of and deals imaginary damage to all enemies. That's cool. In other words, if you've got an enemy that's always buffing themselves or debuffing your allies, La Cha has an La Cha is gonna be really play. good. Precisely. And here's something else: every time La Cha uses his skill or ultimate, he grants himself one stack of Abyss Flower. Okay. Now, when the Abyss Flower reaches a certain number of stacks, La Cha deploys a field against the enemy, which lasts for a set. What does this field times. do? When the field is active, allies recover a set amount of HP whenever they make an attack. Oh, that's really that's nice. Now, after unlocking a special oh, so you trace, really never die with against around. enemies in the field can restore ally HP. Cool, it's like a force field of healing. During exploration, when I'm Lacha still so uses low his technique, mercy of trailblazer food, level his field on will be immediately I like need to grab the, the next battle. Sheesh. Mr. Lacha, mysterious origins and extraordinary skills. Queen. Oh, we're getting her too. She's just Ningguang. I like her. I like her. I. I need to see what she does first. Uh, there's somebody else oh, she's imaginary though, so we kind of need that. I'm I don't have one. About the elegant Scott Hell Master, Madam Yukon. Madam Yukon's That's so hot though. Well, from cars, big mommy vibes. Cargo, passengers. All the way through to the Air Force, the Skyfaring Commission is in charge of all matters relating I to do the like her Yukon outfit a lot. I think that she's so going to be so fun. I can't wait for anime New York City. I can't wait for the Hulk. Like, it seems like cosplay. star skiffs are the most emblematic means of transportation on the Sienjo. I love cosplay. Yeah, they're a common sight in the Sienjo skies. Yukon can fly them, right? <laughs> I'd say she's pretty handy with a star. Is that Ting Yun next to her? When she was young, it was Yukong's flying skills that saw her promoted by the general. That's how she joined the Skyfaring Commission. Look at baby she Ting Yun. She's the ace among the other pilots. Huh? Are we getting free Yukong? Oh, I guess I'll invest in her. Heard. <laughs> All right, you got me. Look Here's at the, the jiggle fist. <laughs> Yukon Wait, wins you're right. Six red lights in a row. She was dragged straight in front of the general, uh, and I get the picture. Sometimes rebels get noticed. <laughs> you're only young once. Six red lights, huh? Disclaimer: Trailblazers, don't try that. Albert, <laughs> I want a pom pom plushie. I want an Albert plushie, and then the I want past. them to be friends. She's still as sharp as ever. Tong, give us the lowdown. So she's right really up. mommy. Yukong okay. is an imaginary type character following the path of harmony. Her skill Where's Kafka? grants her two stacks of roaring bowstrings. When roaring bowstrings is active, the attack of all okay, allies so she's a buffer. increases. Yukong loses one stack of roaring bowstrings with every allied turn. In other words, Yukong's skill can increase okay. allies' attack for two turns. You got it. During exploration, using Yukong's technique increases her movement speed for a set time. It also allows her to obtain two stacks of roaring bowstrings. Why does Yukong sound battle? so yay on to me? She sounds so, so Ningguang to me. For shaking off enemy pursuers. <laughs> I don't Using Yukong's basic think Ting Yun is her daughter. Talent, seven layers they look arrow, different. Additional damage Not all foxes look alike. Reducing damage of the current attack. This effect can be triggered again after a set number of turns. Ah. That reminds me of Yelan. She's big Yelan Guang energy to she me, deals honestly. imaginary damage to a single target. 
If Roaring Bowstrings is active, its effect is enhanced, increasing the crit rate and crit damage of all allies. Her days on the front lines may be over. I think over. I'm a snob with the four and five stars. Like, I honestly much Maybe prefer five star characters. Oops. Take flight once again. Ooh, here's Ooh, hoping. Yukong or Ting Yun? Man, we're really spoiled for choice with Yukong. these characters, huh? Yukong. She's yeah. just so Let's mother. what else we've got coming up. Kaka? In version 1.1, We'll be welcoming two Ooh. brand new light cones to the warp. Let's see it. First up, incessant rain. <gasps> Bubble gum in the rain, huh? She's so That's pretty. <laughs> Wait, I'm like the obsessed silver with silver wolf. Energy wolf. is strong in this one. Yeah, because it's literally her. <laughs> got that right. So we don't want to tighter the room. <laughs> so true. <laughs> she's like, I told you, Kafka. I'm gonna tidy it. As oh, soon as version 1.1 finishes download. I'm gonna win. <laughs> Not sure. The second <laughs> light cone is the path of abundance. Oh, he looks good there. The see, it looks Do you see like that? That's, um... That's Signora. Talking to the coffin? He's talking to Signora. Oh, like some She's in there. She's like... Are emerging from beneath the lid. That's Signora's... So many questions. I get a corpse sense of mystery hair. and elegance. It dried up and it became vines. There's also vines. a kind of tenderness and fragility here. Don't you think? What's wrong with well, him? One thing's for sure. Get, if this man needs therapy, he's carrying a coffin around. He's literally yet. like carrying they skeletons on his back. And his ornately get him therapy. Producing coffin. Nothing to see here, folks. Men will <laughs> Whatever you say, literally Greg. carry a coffin, carry a dead body on their backs instead of going to therapy. Stop. Contract zero. Trailblazers can obtain the limited five-star okay, character the... super wolf. Mm, I guess I could use more Astas. She's quite the good. Cone event warp. The drop rate of the five-star light cone incessant rain will be boosted. Now during the second phase of version 1.1. Ooh, the second warp, phase is me pulling. I want the limited five-star character Lacha and four-star character. Are people using Serval? She good? And they're in the same phase. In the light cone event warp, the drop need to, like, rate do of some the five star research. light cone echoes of the coffin will be boosted. Okay, I'm really not safe. Oh, the sense of my birthday. Two rolls around. Trailblazers can take part. Which of my challenge be? To obtain the four star character you call for this poll. for free. I'll I'll <laughs> details for this event. Pull my birthday. Announced through official channels in the wait, guys. Nice. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. When is Silver Wolf? The drop one? rate of the five star light cone and set phase in the light cone. When is this start? When is this start? Character Silver Wolf. They're Silver. In the same phase until in the light. Because I June seventh. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go to, and this is nice for people who have Girl stayed this long. Take part in an I'm going to Germany. To I'm going to visit the town that Mondstadt was based off of um, in a month. So I want to make sure I pull for Silver Wolf before I go on my trip. Nice. Ooh, awesome. Vlog incoming. <laughs> I'm solo traveling. I'm a little scared. It'll be fine. We'll be talking version 1.1 a bit. Hehe. <laughs> Did I hear about for you, Kong? Yeah. Is that your birthday? Nice. Code. I actually, you know, I'm gonna like log on to my um. What's it called? I'm gonna log on to my Hong Kai and make sure I get these codes because otherwise I will forget to do them. June seventh is there's a codes command. I like that she has like a USB thing. Wait, actually, now that I think about it, she's probably so easy to cosplay. Not easy, but like, it's like a chill outfit. Like she's basically just wearing normal people clothes. And I really like it. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Comfy cosplay. After, what was my least comfy one? Yo, I'm Mia. Yomiya was fine until that big bow thing in her bag. <laughs> Welcome back, Trailblazers. New characters and light cones aside, version 1.1 has lots of events and gameplay updates. And a little bird told me <laughs> Albert. there's an event <gasps> the silver wolf on the way. I'm obsessed! <laughs> I heard the same thing. At the start of the story, Kafka and Silverwolf invaded Herta Space Station. Kafka's mission was to awaken the Trailblazer. Silverwolf's mission I have was to, to say, help Kafka infiltrate Kafka's the Space Station systems and locate the hidden Stellaron. Is but 
that wasn't enough for mm. Silverwolf. Best scene. Mm, I can believe that. She's been on the IPC's wanna list for as long as um, I think Kafka's mm -hmm. outfit is more boring than Silverwolf's outfit. Kind of digital graffiti just so you can have a comfy know. outfit have it be. Wolf was here cool <laughs> way to rub it in their faces silver wolf oh i love that still artists need an outlet <laughs> she <laughs> gamer tags like, everything silver wolf energy to me <laughs> oh i forgot to tell you guys the name of her home world punk lord what kind of fitting don't you her home world is punk lord <laughs> that's not right. real Afraid that's not so. real i think oh. she was destined for this kind of behavior that's why anyway in the star that's why we have a punk lord curio the trailblazers receive an invite from the space what about network security engineer leonard they have to help leonard locate the digital graffiti okay, hidden across the station and uncover the secrets inside i Wait, am going to inside the graffiti how do i redeem but if it's all here? digital oh i bet you need to hack into it or something you might be right. We also get to meet a new Genius Society member, one of Madame Herta's collaborators, Screwlum. He'll Screw be helping the Trailblazers too. Boy, have what? You seen How do Screw I before redeem somewhere? stuff? I think we saw a hologram portrait of him in Herta's office. He's a robot. Oh, right? not a robot sexy R two D Society member. Interesting. I bet he's got What's actually sick? skills. Does he have something? Hologram. Boy, have we Wait. Screw. We'll get to meet he looks like Cypher. A society member. One of Madame Herta's Three collaborators, okay, Screwlum. He'll be helping the Screwlum is kind of hot. Have we seen Screwlum before somewhere? I think we saw a hologram like, portrait why? in Herta's mm -hmm. office. He's a robot, Like, right? I'm sorry to a say. Robot genius society member. He's sort of Interesting. sexy. I bet he's got a few hacker skills up his sleeve. I'm gonna redeem code. If he's helping us up too, I'm sure code. we'll be fine. No? Mm -hmm. You know what I found out? Guys, like... Silverwolf and Screwlum actually faced off against each other once. I think I'm you crazy. You can see a snapshot of their fight in the We Will Meet Again. Whoa! Oh, I want to see this fight! Hey, okay, Screwlum, looking kind of handsome there. Does anyone want to screw really Screwlum? <laughs> <clears throat> you know, uh, I'm sorry, I hate myself, too. If you too. like, I need a moment here, you know, the rest of us can head out. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I guess this event on. will be the second time Screwlum's come up against Silverwolf's mischief, then. Old enemies locking horns once again. I Ooh, am obsessed. Kind of like a rematch. All right. I gotta mention that graffiti. The codes, the codes. Else feel like when you click that, it'll you? say to redemption code. Oh, it doesn't. Like it's weird. I feel characters could pull it off. I don't think that feature is coming to Star Rail anytime soon. Okay. Oh, what? But I did hear that the designs are collectible. <gasps> the NFTs? Silver Wolf NFTs? In-game surfaces and take photos with the artwork. Wait! Oh, nice. Gamer tags! The graffiti designs See? also allows you to unlock the limited four-star light cone before the tutorial mission starts. Complete the event mission to obtain Always Smiling. Oh, there's so many Silver Wolf light cones right now. Cone, that's Blade in the back looking really angry. Material, yeah, well that's, that's funny. Jade. I would totally hang out with the Sauron Hunters. Uh, uh, not to change the subject or anything, but I gotta ask. Is that Albert merch I'm seeing over there? I want Albert merch. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, not to mention it. Uh, why don't I introduce you to the Hype BC's merchandise department? <laughs> if you guys had your own merch, they'd be sold out in no time. <laughs> All right, one code or is redeemed. Maybe let's just get back to version 1.1 for now. And I want Albert small, merch. Bellabog they would finally emerge make a lot of money. Stellaron shadow. But there's a lot left to do. The city is going through changes. Any of you guys want to shed some light? I heard a thing yeah. or two. Now that the underworld and overworld are reconnected, things nice. are definitely heading in a better direction. One recent development, Ooh, Bellabog's more Bellabog. History Museum is getting ready to reopen Okay, the public. new area. Museum? I love museums. Me too. I want to go to the Met soon. Can take the exhibits home with you though. The only problem is exhibits are being stolen. Oh no, you should have gotten Lion Boy, but Lion Boy's so pretty. <laughs> I understand. Oh, 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 wait, a minute. wait, I missed a joke I when I was thinking about Lion Boy. The only problem is exhibits are being oh, stolen. Oh, haha. It was you. It's definitely silver wolf. <laughs> oh. Prime suspect. Anyway, in the Everwinter City Museum Ledger of Curiosities event, the Trailblazer must help Pala track down clues and recover the lost exhibits. Nice. Oh, I love a good who done it. Yeah, I love a good who done it. Well, that's not all. The Trailblazer can take on managerial this fun. responsibilities and Okay, I just redeemed place. two codes. Huh. No, don't so forget, what guys. What does that involve exactly? I'm glad you asked. 
The Trailblazer can do things like collect exhibits and enlist other individuals to improve the overall Dirty. experience for visitors. After achieving specific oh, operations, I get to be girl boss. Accumulate funds to expand the museum's exhibits and gradually unlock limited time rewards. Wait, this is fun. Such as stellar jade, lost crystals, and self-modeling resin. Mm, I like, like fun. I like I'm this. I'm sure it'll be a piece of cake. Wait, I like love when this. Time I love like over, little like business will games. As a mode within the game. Trailblazers can return to the museum at any time to check out the collection and catch up with colleagues. Of course, if you encounter any issues during the running of the museum, please don't hesitate to get in touch with the IPC. Wait, we can have the service. <laughs> I get ahead of myself. <laughs> I need to not <laughs> breath, Albert. roll not for Jingen because I know, <sighs> I know that Silver Wolf is coming this soon. What happens if you read commercials for a living? <laughs> worries kind of did sound like a useful service maybe the ipc should look into it <laughs> i'm sure our trailblazers are more interested in the content of the new version <laughs> uh, let's get back on track <laughs> all right sometimes these jokes just don't land Space and that's okay a combat simulation program of can't win them all origin called stellar flare which contains a series of Whoa, new okay. challenge a lot stages. of events huh more challenges Every stage in Stellar Flare has a challenge okay. theme and corresponding special mechanism. Trailblazers will have to think outside the box what is this? and use any advantages oh. offered by the mechanisms to okay, complete so the stage one. in as few turns as possible. <clears throat> Sounds like the Forgotten Hall to me. The difference with Stellar oh. Flare is that the special mechanisms might require completely new ways of thinking about combat. Wait, what? For example, How? in some stages, using your skill doesn't consume skill points. Oh, interesting. In others, damage dealt when breaking an enemy's toughness is increased, but the enemy's toughness will be oh. immediately restored. Interesting. Huh, sounds pretty cool. Wait, this but will be confusing I'm for me. Sure My brain is so Wolf small. will take care of it in one turn. I agree, I love Silver Wolf. Uh, what if I haven't leveled up enough characters? Is it impossible for me to complete the Sila's challenge? Sila's gonna come in clutch for this event. To assist Trailblazers in completing the challenge, every Stellar Flare stage has a trial character suited to the theme. You don't say. I can get behind that. <laughs> the Garden of Plenty event. Recently, the cosmos has entered a turbulent cycle and the calyxes are unusually active. Mm. The reality data <gasps> Yay, calyx event! Okay, I need so many materials, guys. Oh, which I'm literally means... so <laughs> it means behind that on like leveling period, up and shit. Trailblazers have a set number of daily attempts to obtain double the rewards from Not me currently doing some calyxes leveling at up, the moment here we also. Come. The next event we're gonna talk about is called Lab Assistance in Position. Wen Shuling is a Department of Implement Arts researcher. I have 4,000 saved station, also. And she's currently preparing research topics needed for the next quarter. However, the Antimatter Legion's invasion has messed up her progress. Hmm. As hmm. a result, Wen Shuling has asked the Trailblazer to help her collect monster Oh, so we just need to give her materials? No, I need topic. those. If the Trailblazer collects and submits the experimental materials required on a given day, they can receive corresponding so rewards. I got a question, Dawn. Fire away. These are Space Station and Bellabog events, right? Aren't there any events or missions on the Sienjo Lofu? <laughs> you beat me to it. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to bring up. In version 1.1, three new companion missions are destined for the Sienjo Lofu. These missions. Oh, we get companions! Lu, Wait, Jing, I'm gonna Chuck. do the Silver Wolf one. Uh, also, thanks, Bear. Welcome in. Now. We can't go the spoiling all the fun, can we? What? I'm doing. I'm literally Not doing Honkai on my phone right now while we do this. Uh, can you give us a little something? We're on the edge of our seats here. I am. Um, yeah, come on, Don. I need to get done this. Uh, it is right, just like right. Glyben. You're right. But do you I'm guys so remember poor the girl with the blindfold in the opening trailer? Oh. Now, man, allow me to give you a Is that her? End. You guys said this, but I, I needed to. Who she was. I need to figure this out. No. All I'll say is that she and the Sienjo have a complicated past. And her appearance on the Sienjo leads to a dramatic encounter with Ooh. Cloud Knight Lieutenant Yin Ching. Hey, we don't know if it's Yukong. That's all you're getting. We Sorry. don't know if it's Yukong. We don't know. We don't know. You can't say that. Oh, I hate waiting. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I'm afraid that's all you're getting. However, I do have a little info on some other updates. What updates? Interested? Yes. Uh, Use expeditions. Sure, I'm trying my best, but I keep using them to like oh, level up my characters. If you're that interested, then I suppose I'll just. Well, of course, we're interested. Well, are you crazy? Albert, you're interested, right? <sighs> Ooh. 
<laughs> That's better. Drop that skincare cool. routine. <laughs> I will done, later. Melissa. The check-in event gift of Odyssey ah! will also be arriving in version 1.1. For the length of this version, as long as Trailblazers log in for seven days, that's so nice. That's so nice. Special passes, ten free warps. Nice. Why are they so generous with us? We'll also see some system updates. When Trailblazers need to obtain leveling materials that only a certain type of enemy can produce, they can instantly teleport nice. to the area where that's the enemy really is convenient. present, as well as pinpoint the precise location of the enemy. Ooh. Enemy on the map with a marker. That's really Sounds nice. Like a real time saver. I really love the system distance. updates. Once like the enemy it's very important, guys. The quality the of life updates. Automatically move to the so location good. of the next enemy. After all marked enemies on a map have been defeated, trailblazers can continue to pinpoint enemies on other maps. This process can be repeated until all daily respawned enemies of a certain type have been defeated. Oh, that's a lifesaver. I barely found my way to the studio today. <laughs> There's also a small combat surprise in store. During combat, trotters that have lost their way may randomly enter what? battle. As long as the trotter is defeated before it manages to <gasps> flee, additional I love trotters. These are the obtained. best. Enemy geolocation and additional material opportunities. Devs, I owe you one. Devs. Last but not least, they are looking out for us. The Honkai Star Wars devs are so version good. Version 1.1 also has a friend chat function. Uh oh, I'm so gonna be really annoying to people. From helping friends through support assist, Finally, I don't know why they released this too. game without this function. You That's my it. question. Doesn't matter if they're old companions or new acquaintances. That's the spirit of trailblazing right there. Oh, hey, Albert, what's your account? Let me add you. Uh, what? I need to add you. <laughs> you can be my personal IPC customer service. What do you think? Hello. Hey, don't get an idea. It's because I nearly made up a service that doesn't exist. Albert. Oh. So you don't want to add good me? Name. Guess I'll just I wonder what the name is in Chinese and if it translates well. <laughs> Wait a minute. We can negotiate. Yeah, I'm gonna need those account details too. Count me in. Sorry, I need better relics for my team. Here, Albert, my relics suck. I might. I will say the auto battle function. Great. I'm like literally like I can do this during work all the time. I'm my account the next chance I get. I might do that. Time for the day's anyway. third redemption code. Redemption code. Redemption code. Don't forget. Okay, I am very excited for this. I'm actually gonna skip past this because you guys have the code function. Auto battle, such a lifesaver. Saver. Fun. Ah, time flies when you're having fun. Looks like our special program is coming to an end. Coming to an end. Darn. Aww. But as the first guest in the program, you guys got any thoughts? Reflections? Complaints? Oh, it's been an honor to be on the show, Albert. I'll be getting golds say, by then. I'll be getting golds by, hopefully. I mean, I need yeah, to just grind this game more. I feel like I'm going to be Here's playing Zelda on, like, one I mean, the screen, and then Great. I'm kind of... How you feel it? I feel like I've got more questions than I came in with. What new directions will Lacha take the story in? Who's stealing exhibits from the museum? And what about those companion missions? <sighs> Guess we'll have to find out the answers in-game. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> As for me, well, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'd seen a lot of Yukong up to now, but this was the first time I got to understand her moves and role on the battlefield. I like that she's an archer. That's pretty so cool. cool. I kind of want to be her. Then again, I guess I kind of am her. <laughs> I had a double check for a second. Uh, well, that's it for the Honkai Star Rail version 1.1 special program. I want to thank all you trailblazers today for tuning in. Yay. <laughs> See you on the flip side. Yay! Bye. What a good special program, guys. Oh, I'm so excited for Silver Wolf. I'm so excited for Silver Wolf. I am so excited for Locha. I think Locha has Kakalia's dead body on his back. I don't know why, but there's only one dead person in this game right now, and I think, and I think Locha dog her from her grave what a weirdo um and i'm gonna be spending money on silver wolf and locha so there goes my wallet there goes my savings happy hot girl summer i'll be spending my money on fictional characters and not drinks so thank you everyone for joining and don't forget to redeem your codes 